Hello, family. How is everybody doing today? I hope everyone is doing well today. Let's talk about it, family. As y'all see, it's a family affair of family employment and for the love of money. Yes, family for the love of money. Um, the family roadblocks and receipts. Let's talk about it because this is very deep here. It's a family affair. Yeah. And the roadblocks with receipts and documents and things like that. Let's talk about that, family. And Tiffany, it seems like most likely have bought in a lot of innocent people in her mess and shenanigans that she's been doing around here. Yes, see, it's given... There's a lot of innocent people that Tiffany has pulled into her mess. Yeah. And it was intentional. That's what it's given. So let's talk about it, family. Oh, it's a lot of tea up in here today. Let's talk about it. Shout out to everybody. Appreciate it. Appreciate everybody for all your love and support. And love and support is going right back to y'all from cafe and her team as well appreciate it all the love that y'all been showing us let's get right down to it y'all already know what we have to do for the ones in the back for the ones in the back yes uh-huh this video is under fair use Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of Copyrights Acts in 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, and personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Yes, fair use. All rights and credits go directly to his rightful owner. This video is purely for fair use, opinion, and entertainment. Enjoy. And we also want to add that everything in this video is alleged. Yes. Uh-huh. So let's get right down to it. Um, as y'all know, we do our quick updates right quick. Um, I just want to show somebody, because somebody kept coming in our comment section about nine times no matter how much it was disrespectful to and no matter how many times that my team deleted this person they just kept coming back and they just had a very disrespectful manner you know and we always say this is the knowledge family we don't tolerate disrespect but this here person kept talking about Sonia Massey, okay? And when I said in my video that um, she didn't have the pot, okay? Um, when he said, put the pot down, she didn't even have the pot. And he knew it, okay? He knew it. Grayson knew it. It, it was just something he wanted to do, okay? Now you will see this person say, no, she did not put pot down. Okay, first of all, we're going to need this person here to, um, you know, when they made a comment, they didn't even look at the handle of the channel that said knowledge, okay? Which means that we expect that you will miss a couple of words, but, you know, this right here was just... um you know, not knowledgeable at all, okay, so they said, no, she did not put pot down, okay, okay, so we got to fall back into preschool family, okay, because, you know, um, then it says, and first of all, when you ever see a name that has three X in it, that's a red flag right there, you don't leave toxicity, you don't talk, that's why my team deleted Okay, um, delete like nine of their comments. When you see a triple X like that on somebody's name, 
that automatically tells you everything you need to know about that person, okay? Triple X is nothing nice, okay? It's not. It can go for the uh, P style. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Um, and then it can go for the devilish style, okay? So, that was red flag in itself. Then they say, um, then that person said here, they say, the three, the pot. Lord have mercy. Okay. Don't know what that means, the three, the pot. Okay. Then it says, I don't think the cop was right either, but she threw the pot and you need to not spread false statements. Okay. That's what that person said. And then I come back and I said, knowledge family, to my knowledge family. Please go watch the YouTube channel called Indisputable with Dr. Rashad, okay? The video is titled Update, Cop Meet with Sonia Massey a day before, you know, the deletion. She definitely put the pot down, case closed, okay? Now, Sonia did put that pot down at first. So, I'm just going to stop it at the pot, Okay? Because sometimes I don't mind throwing savage people inside my quicksand, okay? So, let's just do this for the triple X that's in the back, okay? So, let me show y'all again, okay? Let me show this right here, okay? Um, first of all, let me stop, let me stop, Okay? So now, you will see right here that she has the pot, and then that's the pot. Now, she ducks, and I stop. I don't do nothing else. But the pot is still here, okay? The pot is still there. The pot never moved, okay? That's the time he kept saying, hands up drop the pot drop the pot when she first dropped down she did not have that pot and you can see his arms are up you know downwards to do his demon work okay so at the beginning she did not have the pot she had the mitts in her hand Okay, one more again. Okay, she has the mitts. This is the pot. The pot still stays there and she goes down. Pot is still there. Okay, point blank, period. Okay, so now that uh, we done got that savage there out the way, okay, um, let me go to this right here okay because not only was he a savage for doing that he also was a savage for this right here so when people say oh well uh you know he didn't mean or you know whatever they saying okay Mr. Grayson meant to do everything he did, okay? First of all, he did. He meant to do everything he did. As you see, the first thing he did when he took her life was he told a lie. He was on, he reported in that she did a self-inflicted. You see it right there, okay? They do have the audio. Y'all can go in there. The audio disgusts me because he says, he calls it in as, oh, self-inflicted. And so I remember I told y'all that in the other video that the dispatcher said, can you confirm that? It says self-inflicted. So we thought you know, I was telling y'all, I don't know who called it in. Was it him or was it the 
partner that was with him. It turns out it was Grace. Okay? And that's what he called in. And that's the 911. And you'll see right there, it says the deletion shooting of uh, Sonia Massey by an Illinois cop now charged with her deletion was initially called in as being, y'all see it, okay, newly released audio shows. So not only did he do that, and if he thought that he did the right thing, why did he still lie? Because he knew he did the wrong thing. So he lied and said, called it in as that. That's why when his commander came to the scene, his commander said, where's the weapon? He, the, the commander was looking for a weapon that, that Miss Massey had. And then he said, oh, no, I did it. So see, he lies all the way across the board all the time. Okay? So now... Uh, you will see that he had been warned a lot of times, as you see right here. The sheriff and I will not tolerate. This is his commander talking to him in 2022 in a recording. Said we will not tolerate lying or deception because that's what Grace has been doing for it seemed like the whole time he's been on everybody's force. Okay, and then the commander says, at one point, you can see the uh, the commander officer warns Grayson that officers like you have been charged and they end up in jail. That's what his supervisor told him November of 2022. He told Grayson that his behavior is so terrible and his lying and his deception that it's going to wind him up in jail. And that's exactly where he is right today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we don't feel sorry for uh, Grayson over here, point blank period. Okay. Now, um, the chief that was over Grayson, um, he has sent out an apology to the family, and he said that, you know, a lot of people said that Grayson was a, always been a bully, you know, basically hard to handle, okay? And you will see that the sheriff, whose deputy deleted Sonia Massey, apologizes. I offer up no excuses. A lot of people want him to step down, but he said he's not going to step down. He's going to stay on the job okay now let's talk about this because i remember that i was giving y'all the update on ysl and as you see i remember i told y'all that mr Steele asked for bond for young thug okay and the judge denied it okay we talked about that she you'll see young thug ysl uh bond denied okay so then Bond denied for Young Thug, and YSL judge denies to mistrial motions. Now, um, you know, they was trying to do, get a mistrial done, and she denied those. But they did do a third mistrial. One of the defendant's lawyer put in for a third mistrial. And when he explained his end of his wanting to be, have a mistrial in his motion, she didn't deny that one, family. She said she would give them some type of ruling on that Monday coming up. So we'll see what she say on that, okay? Then you will see that the defense team learned that there was another ex parte meeting. Besides the one that they had with Woody, on the 10th, they saying another one took place on July 7th, just a couple of days before that as well. Wow. Okay, so they are asking for a mistrial once again. This thing is something else. And let me tell y'all, family, 
Uh, also, now this is the one where Young Thug to remain in jail after judge denied motion to reconsider bond. So it's a lot of things now that she reconsider and it, you know, uh, and then she's reconsidering now that new motion that's coming up. Um, so Monday should be a big day to see what she's going to deny or what she's going to pass through. But the biggest thing is, is she going to do a mistrial? You know, um, that's the biggest thing. Um, the, the judge, this new judge here really has a problem with Miss Love, the prosecutor a little bit because Miss Love have a little smart mouth and she act just like her boss, Bonnie, Bonnie Willis, okay? Yes, yeah, she do. She got the same attitude that Bonnie had up in that courtroom, okay? With that little smart mouth and all that. This one here acts just like her. You could tell she's been around that woman a long time, okay? But the judge just had to put her in check a couple of times about her unprofessional kind of behavior, okay? Now, Mr. Steele has been Young Thug's lawyer for 10 years. Okay, that was something that um, I was, you know, tripping out. Because I, I thought that he had, Young Thug had just hired him for this case. But no, uh, Mr. Steele has been Young Thug's lawyer for close to 10 years. So, yeah, yeah. So, that's, that's, that's a lot on that. So, um... Mr. Steele also, he asked for a motion to bring in Judge Glanville for questioning. But the judge said, no, she's not going to bring, uh, she denied that motion as well. She said she's not going to bring a previous judge in for them to question about the ex parte meeting or things that he said to Woody or things like that. She said she's not going to bring a judge in to be questioned in this case who has already been recused of this case, okay? So she denied that motion as well. So it's a, it's a lot going on on that right there. We'll stay updated on that. Now, Tupac Shakur, sister, is not playing, okay? Uh, one thing I could say about Tupac's sister is that she do not play about her brother's uh, name. She don't play about his music. She don't play about his museum. She don't. She ain't playing about his deletion. Okay? No, she is not. Um, after their mother passed, Miss Fanny Shakur, she has taken over just about everything. Ain't no just about. She's taken over everything, okay? And she ain't playing. She hit the ground running about her brother, okay? She taking care of the whole estate, and she ain't playing with nobody, okay? She ain't playing all that copyrighting his music and none of that. None of that, okay? So she done took it to a whole nother level, okay? Which rightfully so, because that's her brother. Okay, but the family's um, lawyer of Tupac think that they have enough legal things to try to put together to implicate Diddy, okay, in this here thing. So you'll see that um, this was July 30th, okay, just here this week. Tupac's family lawyer preps investigation of Diddy alleged involvement in Tupac's deletion, okay? So, you'll see here that it says Tupac family. Let me blow it up a little bit. It says Tupac family lawyer is gearing up for an investigation into Diddy's alleged involvement in the rapper's deletion, okay? TMZ report that the state has vowed to get to the bottom of Keefe D's alleges that Diddy offered to pay him and his cohorts money to kill. Uh, I shouldn't have said that. But anyway, Tupac in a 1990, you know, thing. So, Keefe D alleged that, you know, that's what happened. That they was offered a million dollars from the bad boy entertainer. Okay? So... 
Keefe D is already in there, as we know. And Keefe D keeps saying that, yeah, you know, um, when we did that, he, Diddy called and said, hey, was that us? And they said, yeah, and said that Diddy gave uh, a guy the one meal. Let me show y'all this. It should be noted that, um, okay, about the sense. Okay, so Tupac's family attorney name is Alex Spiro and Christopher Clark, along with investigators are digging deeper into these claims. So they are digging deep into it. Um, I was trying to find where Keefe D. Um, right here. That's Keefe D. Who is in there now doing the, you know, his, they're getting ready to do a big trial on that. But anyway, you'll see that he say that Sean Diddy Combs allegedly offered up one meal for the hip hop legends deletion. Okay. So they saying that the court records and that prosecutor included in transcripts that they are saying that when they did the interview with Keefe D, he definitely kept saying like he did so many interviews saying that yeah uh he was that did he was implicated in it and you will see it says Davis claimed Combs allegedly was afraid of Suge Knight who owned a rival record label he also stated did he dislike Shakur because the rapper called him out on his song then he said Combs allegedly made a call on Knight's head at a hotel room in front of more than 40 people Davis claims he was kind of scared of the guy. That's just, This is what Keefe D is saying at the hotel. Like, man, I will give anything for that dude's, you know, head or whatever. This is what Keefe D is telling the people, okay? And then he says that allegedly Cone paid the money for the hit on Tupac to Eric Von Zip Martin, another man in the car with him. So, it was Keefe D in the car, Keefe D nephew, and two other guys, okay? That's what they're saying. And they're saying that one of the guys who was in the car with Keefe D when they deleted Tupac is that what they, one of the guys that was in the car is who Diddy gave the million dollars to. But Keefe D said that guy didn't split the money with them said the dude basically kept the money, opened up his own business with the money, and just kept it moving. And so Keefe D was kind of upset, he claimed, about he didn't get the money, allegedly, or he didn't even get some of the money. So he's kind of pissed off about that, okay? So that's what's going on there. And that's um, Tupac's sister. So no, she is not playing about her brother okay so her and her uh, her lawyers and things they say that they put in some they filed something this past week that they think that they have enough and they starting to implicate diddy's name in some of this paperwork that they're getting ready to drop okay but allegedly that's that's what they're saying okay so now let's talk about the hen. Yes, let's talk about this hen because, see, it's a family, family affair. Yes, it is a family affair. So now what Tiffany has done is hired a family like Frank Lucas. Okay, yeah, that's what she's done. And her family is in that Thornton Township, which now we see why it's so hard for people to get receipts and documents that they are asking for. Because Tiffany, family members, running that. 
Okay? Yeah. Uh-huh. So, let's talk about that. Because it's a family affair for the love of money and for the love of employment. And that's why a lot of things are most likely being blocked. Uh-huh. And who hired Keith Price anyway? Is Keith Price called himself taking Keith Freeman's spot? Oh, we got a lot to talk about. And it looks like Tiffany is bringing in innocent people in her mess in her shenanigans. And she's doing that intentionally too. Oh, family, y'all pay close attention to this right here, okay? Now, first of all, y'all will see right here. It's the Landstein Journal. And the subpoenas of Tiffany Henyard. Okay, you'll see employment details, contracts, and tax statements. This is all that the FBI is asking for. Regarding Rosie Henyard, Tamika Henyard, and Kamal Woods, municipal code and ordinance. Okay, so yeah, so they wrapped up all in this. Then you will see Henyard family in subpoena. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, her family in the subpoenas. So then you will see sister in law Rosie Henyard is the program developer for YFS, working with Kamal. That's the young youth, okay? You know, we were talking about Kamal supposed to be over the youth program. Well, also, a sister-in-law, allegedly, that's what it got here, and that's what it got. We've been seeing this name on some subpoenas as well. The Rosie and the Tamika Henyard. Yeah, so... um. They all work in there. So Tiffany got this as a family. She don't put a family in there like a family operation, okay? Yeah, just like how Frank Lucas bought his brothers in. And they tend to do that because, see, when you have your family mixed up in your criminal behavior, it's kind of troubling. But at the same time, they hover and they cover over everybody for the hen. Okay? And they make sure that ain't nobody trying to cross the hen. Yeah, see, that's why she got a family in there. They're most likely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, as you'll see, the Rosie said, I am happy to share that I've started a new position as program developer at Thornton Township Youth and family services. What? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you'll see this was on the Dalton and Politics page that somebody said, uh, Tiffany family in subpoenas. Tiffany made cousin Tamika Henyard a FOIA officer, which should explain why no one gets FOIA requests. She's held this position for about two years. Sister-in-law Rosie Henyard is the program over the youth. Yeah. So, as you will see, that in July, 20, July 25th, 2023, um, the Rosie Henyard Program Director of Youth and Family Service, the... Uh, have some things on the agenda for that time, okay? And then you will see down here the same thing. Subpoenas to testify before a grand jury. Who got to testify before the grand jury family? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Rosie Henyard, Tamika Henyard. Uh-huh. And they got... A lot of things that need to be bought in. Okay? Yeah. Uh-huh. So those subpoenas includes them as well as you see. Yes. Mm-hmm. So now, check this out. You know, all those subpoenas is asking for a lot. And you will see it's asking for the contracts, agreements, and payments related to the Delgado Law Group. It's also... Um, for the Washington trip, the Springfield trip, the Las Vegas trip, 
Uh huh. And then you'll see right there uh, Tiffany Henyard, Keith Freeman, Robert Hunt, and Kamal Woods. And then you'll see that they also want a lot of tax records and stuff about uh, Tiffany's Good Burger Company, her Aisha property. That's a real estate. Friends of Tiffany Henyard and the Henyard Cares Foundation. Now, we're getting ready to get into the innocent people that most likely um, Tiffany is trying to pull into this joint. And people need to pay very close attention to what I'm getting ready to say on that. But then you'll see the sweeping subpoenas seems to indicate federal investigators are attempting to leave no stones unturned in their investigation of Thornton Township leaders and Dalton as well. Okay? The village of Dalton as well. So they are asking for a whole lot. And I'm going to tell y'all something else here in a minute. Okay? So, as y'all see... Here, it also asks for employment detail contracts and tax statements regarding Rosie Henyard, Tamika Henyard, and Kamal Henyard, okay? So, these are the ones who are in that spot, and it's most likely the reason why people can't get receipts, documents, FOIAs, and everything else, okay? Because you got the family in there. And family is going to protect, you know, most, most family will. So when you have a family mixed up in your criminal behavior, it's troubling. And in the government work field at that, that is bold and dangerous. And they are most likely the ones who watches everybody very closely because they know their operation is full of stank, stank, and corrupt behavior. And everyone is watching each other because they know that each other can't be trusted. Yeah, see, that's what it is. See, Tiffany got her family there just like Frank Lucas did because Frank Lucas trusted the family more than the ones that he had working for him that wasn't family. He knew that family would protect him harder than the ones who are not family. But they still in the goon squad. But the family is who she depends on to watch her back the most. Mm -hmm. So that's why most people are not getting these receipts and documents and FOIA requests and all that stuff, okay? Because, as you see, one of her relatives is over all that. And they're not letting it go. Uh-uh. So, when you got the family in there like that, everybody is watching each other because they know each other cannot be trusted. Like I said, that explains why those receipts, documents, evidence, and all that has not been produced. And which, which explains why the FBI had to come in and request for those receipts and documents and everything that we just saw they requested. Which going to take a minute, okay? And word on the street is that uh, they didn't even hand over all the stuff. To the FBI. Word on the street is that they asked for an extension. What? You know? Now Tiffany and her goons. Are trying to be slick. And allegedly asked for an extension. Well. Y'all didn't ask for no extension. When y'all was running all over. Taking these lavish trips. And spending all these taxpayers dollars. And all that stuff. And Tiffany and her goons didn't ask for one extension when it came to spending that government's money and the taxpayers' dollars. Yeah. I just hope the feds bust up in the joint and get everything. If they haven't gotten everything that they need, it won't be long before they bust up in there and get what they need. And I hope that they snatch Tiffany and her goons right along with them into that jail cell. Because that's where they belong. Because her and her goons are very dangerous. First of all. 
Okay, and they need to be off the streets immediately. And I'm getting ready to tell y'all something about that too, because uh, there are so many warnings that Tiffany and her goons has displayed that clearly shows us they are a danger to society the bullying, the threats, the harassment, the intimidating, and all that stuff, and messing with the elderly and all that. Now, let me say this too, okay? Because uh, I just wanted to show y'all about that family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, y'all see that the freedom, check this out. The Freedom of Information Act, okay? The FOIA, which she has a family member over that, right? Basically, uh, that's, what the, that's what the reports are saying. Give citizens the right to request and receive documents from public bodies. Each public body assigns staff to respond to FOIA requests in a timely manner, okay? Now, at Thornton Township, clerk, Loretta Wells served as FOIA officer along with two other staff members, one of whom was recently transferred to another department and the other of whom is on medical leave, according to a former township employee. So you see how Tiffany do. It seems like when people go on medical leave, that's when Tiffany uh, fires them, terminates them. She pushes them out the way that way, okay? And she bring in who she wants to bring in, okay? So now you'll see, during the April 26th meeting, Supervisor Tiffany Henyard called for a motion to approve three new FOIA officers, Vanessa, Jacqueline, and Tamika Henyard. Yes, see that? According to the former staffer, Tamika Henyard is supervisor. Cousin. So she's Tiffany's cousin. Mm -hmm. So Tiffany put her cousin over that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody else go on FO. She transfer one person to another department. The other one go on that uh, leave of absence or whatever. And then she put her cousin in there. Mm-hmm. And Henyard did not specify the reason for the additional appointments, which township trustees approved. So they approved it at this time, because this was like about a year or so ago, um, when Tiffany said, I want my cousin to be over this or whatever, the township board approved of it but of course they all on her bandwagon then you know the carmen and all them they was on a bandwagon they wasn't really um thinking straight put it that way they didn't start thinking right until those speeders started dropping on their head then they want to get some act right okay yeah so one thing that i do want to say about this family is that I've had a couple of, okay, well, first let me get to this. About the Tiffany bringing in innocent people most likely in this thing. Because let me tell y'all something. Tiffany has subpoenas on her head and her goons do too. As we just saw with all the FBI is asking. I didn't read everything because we all know that they have a stack, 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 okay? But I did show y'all a lot of the things that is on top of Tiffany's head. With that being said, Tiffany is using the taxpayers' dollars to con the taxpayers, okay? And stay with me, family. Stay with me. Okay, now she's using the taxpayers' dollars to con the taxpayers. Now she's doing all this uh, bingo thing, and you know she's giving out those prizes, and she's giving out the TVs, and she's giving out the exercise bikes, and she's giving out some golf clubs. She's giving out a lot of things here, right? Now 
That is most likely taxpayers' dollars that Tiffany is buying those gifts with. I very I find it very hard to believe that that's Tiffany's own money that she's using for that bingo thing. Okay? Now, by Tiffany, which would be okay if Tiffany wasn't already in, you know, um, under subpoena. She's already under subpoenas for missing money, mishandling money, all that. Her properties, her, well, her Aisha properties and all that and how money is not being accounted for okay so when people start receiving gifts from someone who is under FBI watch and has subpoena stacked on their head for the Thornton Township money and Dalton Village money. And then Tiffany is steady buying gifts. And she's knowing she's up under investigation. And she knowing she having subpoenas on her head. But she's still buying gifts. And she's handing it out to the people. The same money that the FBI is watching. So see, when you take gifts from someone who is already in question about the money they are spending, that basically drags the people into that too. See those TVs and these exercise bikes? Who is to say that once FBI do finally get Tiffany that they're going to want some of those gifts too. Uh-huh. We're going to need that gift. We're going to need that gift. We're going to need that gift. We're going to need that gift because that's that was illegal. So we're going to need that money because that money was spent and wasn't approved to be spent. And you took these gifts, and now we have to take it back. Mm -hmm. Happens all the time. That's just like people receiving stolen property. When you receive stolen property, once they get them people, and then they know that the stole where the stolen property went, they going to get the stolen property because that's really not your property. That property that you got belongs to someone else. Most likely belongs to Thornton Township or Dalton Village. Uh huh. And another thing, family. See, Tiffany is dragging innocent people in. See, me, my opinion, me, if it was me staying in those towns, I wouldn't go to not one of those. I don't care how much I love bingo. I wouldn't go to one of her bingos. I don't want not one of those gifts because I don't know how you bought these gifts. Is this the township money that wasn't approved to buy these gifts? Or is it your money, your own personal money that you're doing? Because, see, right now you're wrapped up in so much stank stank with the FBI. I don't want none of your gifts. Because before you know it, you might hear this. Alphabet, boys. Hey, we're going to need this TV. You received the TV. You received the exercise bike you received this we're gonna need that we got to confiscate it you didn't do nothing wrong we just got to confiscate it what but tiffany don't care she don't care because see right now she's doing it because she wants something she needs something to stay in that seat so Tiffany most likely break all rules. She done broke some already. That's why subpoenas on top of her head. 
Yeah. So see, you have to be very careful, people, when you're receiving these gifts from someone who has criminal behavior, someone who has subpoena stacked on their head, someone who is being investigated for the money. A government money. And people, oh yeah, girl, B-22, that's me, give me that TV. FBI. Hey, look here, that TV that you got there about, what, six months ago, two years ago, we need that. I don't care how old it is, we need it. It belongs to Thornton Township or Dalton Village. Yeah. Oh, I ain't got it no more. I ain't got it no more, sir. Well, you know, you're going to have to pay up. You're going to have to pay up. But we're going to need that. Now everybody going to be upset. Well, it was given to us as a gift. Y'all ass didn't know that this girl was being investigated and y'all was still taking gifts. It ain't going to be, yeah, you ain't going to be able to wiggle up out that too much either. Because everybody just about know in Thornton Township and in Dalton Village that she's being investigated about money. Mishandling money from both spots, township and the village. But you're steady taking those hot ass gifts. I call them hot ass gifts because of she's being investigated. Yes. Was those gifts approved by the board? Or was she just spending the money? Is she just spending the money? Mm-hmm. Cause see, Tiffany's so slick, she could buy two or three TVs for bingo and eight, nine more TVs for the goons. Yeah. So she pulling innocent people, basically, I mean, I wouldn't even take it. I wouldn't want none of them gifts. Because she's under investigation. Now, another thing. So that's what I mean about could be pulling innocent people in. Is that her own money? Get those gifts, everybody. Oh, yeah, B-32, that's me, girl. Give me that 14-inch. Give me that 32-inch. Yeah, that's me. Oh, I want the exercise bike. I want that. Yeah, uh-huh. You want those FBI's on you, too. Because they watching. They watching who getting the gifts. They watching, looking at the gifts. They looking at all that. Oh, them some nice gifts. Where them okay, okay. They jotting all that stuff down. Mm-hmm. Think they don't know. Think they ain't watch. Where's them gifts coming from? She ain't been spending her money all this time on the lavish trips to Washington, Vegas, Alabama, all that. Her hair, hairdresser getting paid out of the taxpayers' dollars. So are those TVs, golf clubs, exercise bikes, is all that taxpayers' dollars too? Because she's under investigation. And I'm going to tell you, most likely those towns are in the red. And they got to pay back that money some type of way. And they're going to start swiping, confiscating, seizing, all that stuff. And some of those exercise bikes might be in the mix. And some of those TVs might be in the mix. And some of those golf clubs might be in the mix. Oh, she's so nice. She, hey, look here. She be looking out for us. She be giving us this. She be giving us that. Then y'all going to be looking real stupid. It could happen now. Not saying it's going to definitely happen. It's a possibility it could happen. Because you're taking gifts from someone who is clearly under investigation for criminal behavior. Mm -hmm. 
and money that's not accounted for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then another thing. I had somebody, well, not somebody, about five or six people put in the email, would, um, would I buy something from someone who is investigating? who is being investigated, or who is involved in an investigation. Hell no. Hell no. Let's get that, let's get that straight, family. Let's kick that knowledge, okay? Y'all know I've been doing this for a long time. I say it all the time, over 30 some years, investigating, looking at things and all of that. And I have people on my team that are, you know, retired. Uh, big dogs, okay? So, let me say this. You never buy anything from someone who is being investigated either, okay? You don't take gifts from them, and you don't buy nothing from them, okay? You don't buy their cars. You don't buy nothing. And people who are participating in an investigation, like you got the person who is being investigated, then you have a per, you have people who are participating in the investigation, okay? Those two people, you don't want to buy anything from until after the investigation is over because that does nothing but pulls you inside of the investigation. For an example, if somebody is being investigated, for money laundering or uh, missing money and things like that. They being investigated for that. Why would you go and buy, say, if that person say, hey, I got a Cadillac for sale. You want to buy it? And you say, yeah. And you buy it. Guess what? The investigators are already watching that person. So now they done sold a car to you that you don't know if the investigator has been watching that car as well, too. Everything that this person is riding in, doing, or whatever, whatever, the investigators are on it. So when, they, when that person sells you, who being investigated, sells you that car, you are now a hot suspect. And you might not even know nothing about it. But you are hot, so they're going to start watching your ass, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They done pulled you slap in the mix. They trying to get rid of their stuff, and they done got rid of it to you. And now they, you know, the investigators will watch you for a minute to see where you stand or where you at. But then when stuff fall down, you could be pulled in to ask or be questioned or something like that. Nah, I wouldn't even trust it. And people who are participating in the investigation, I wouldn't buy nothing from them. I wouldn't take nothing from them because then you have automatically once again turned the investigative eyes on your ass. So see, those two people you're supposed to stay clear of until the investigation is over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're not supposed to take nothing from them. You're not supposed to buy nothing from them. None of that. Because once you do, the FBI eyes are on you, whether you like it or not. That's word to the wise. Yes. Keep pillar pelling around here with uh these goons and stuff like that you know what i'm saying you can't do that so just answering the question of somebody who asked me that i don't know why they even sent that email but they know how to knowledge you know sometimes knowledge family will send me all kind of little things i look at it and i reply sometimes sometimes we don't reply you know but when they asked that question, I was like, I wonder if somebody 
thinking about buying something from, you know, like out here on the streets, like they know somebody out here on the streets that's being investigated, and then, but that person want to buy something from that person, and do they, do I think that's a good idea to do, or something like that, but I'm just putting it out there, no, you don't touch nothing, when people are being involved in an investigation, such as like Tiffany, you know, and the trustees, if they, they are one is the hen is under investigation and then you have the trustees and some of the residents and things like that some of them have to participate in the investigation well you know you don't want to um tamper with either one of those things far as getting yourself mixed up and buying some stuff from them or doing some nah 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 keep it cordial you know but buying from them and taking some stuff from them and all that, oh, no, because y'all got too much heat on y'all. Y'all got too much heat on y'all. One, this one right here, she definitely got the heat. But then you got some that's participating, trying to, you know, help get things right. You know, you kind of want to leave them alone, too, and let them do their thing and not, you know, buy nothing and get stuff from them and stuff like that because... Every move everybody make, the alphabet boys are looking anyway. So why would I want attention attention from the alphabet boys by buying something from anybody who is just involved in the investigation or participating in the investigation? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I already know how they, I already know how it go. Uh, they eyes will be on you quick. It could be something so simple. Oh, well, you know, I just bought an outfit from her. Hey, look here. She might have wore that outfit in something that she did illegal. Now you got it. And them eyes go straight to you. And they stay on you for a long time, too. Watch me. See how you moving now. Uh-huh. Yeah. How you know him? Why would you want the outfit? What's going on? Why did you buy that outfit? Why didn't you just go to the store and buy you one? Why did you just had to buy that outfit from her? What's, what's going on? I mean, something simple as that. Them alphabet boys' eyes will come straight to you. And they will stay on you until the investigation is over. Point blank period. I'm tired of talking about that. Now I don't answer the folks' question, and that's it. You better take it from an OG, okay, a, a female OG. Yeah, you better take it from me. Now, this, uh, so that's it on that right there because she got, she got the family affair going on. Yeah, she got the family affair, and that's why it's them roadblocks in them old receipts and documents and all that stuff like that. So she done made that a family affair for the love of money. Yeah, yeah, and that's why her and her family got those subpoenas on top of their head. Yes, uh-huh, yeah. See, Tiffany wants to be a gangster. And like I said, a lot of people want to talk about, oh, Keith was the mastermind. Nah, it don't look like it. Tiffany moved people out the way and positioned people where she wanted to position them at. That Tamika Henyard ain't related to Keith. The Rosie Henyard ain't related to Keith. That's Tiffany doing. She know how to position. Very slick. Very smart. Yeah. Don't care nothing but herself. She cares nothing about nobody but herself. And that's why I said people need to be very careful. When they getting these gifts and all that stuff at the little bingo hall. And I don't care about these little events and all that. I, I, I wouldn't, my opinion. Where the money coming from? Where's the receipts that show that it was approved to take? And that. Or the receipts that say, oh, this is my money that come out my bank account. This is where, where's all them receipts at for these gifts? Uh-huh. 
Mm -hmm. What are they writing it off as? Because we clearly saw that these are all communities, not just seniors. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm doing a giveaway, so I'm just going to take this amount, and this is for the seniors, and this and that. No, those are the half and half. Yeah. So where the money coming from for all that? Just spending the taxpayer's dollar. And in a bunch of heat for this, and still doing it, and then you got a lot of people that's still sitting there receiving it. People ain't never heard of stolen receiving stolen goods. Wow. I'm just saying allegedly. It could be her money. Where to receive it? Where to receive it? Anyway, uh that um I'ma show y'all this right here. Cause see people think that uh the feds is playing. We have noticed, me and my team, that the feds is on a mission in every in a lot of states throughout the United States. We just seen one in Alabama where somebody got got uh, the feds done picked up some people. I had to show that another time. But this right here was a uh, federal judge awarded 35.8 mil to a health care workers in overtime wage suits. Okay, so a federal judge in Pittsburgh awarded 35.8 mil in overtime back pay damages to 6,000 current and former employees of 15 nursing homes and rehabilitation facilities in western Pennsylvania, okay, including one in Jackson Township. What they say it was a township. Did they say it was a township family? Yeah, see, that's what I'm trying to say. See, um, the feds been on this for about, they say, about five years now. Okay, so it could take that long, but I can understand it because this was 6,000 people, okay, 6,000 employees, okay, that was, you know, not being paid right and things like that. Uh, and according to what we know, the firefighters over there, uh, that Tiffany administration, they saying, the firefighters say they don't even have their pensions in Canada. So, see, this thing is very deep. And the Fed's been on a mission here. We have seen it. And y'all can look it up. There has been, the Fed's has really been grabbing people, grabbing people, grabbing people. I'm talking about in different states, in different states. So, they all in different states are on a mission about the federal money. Yeah, they on a mission real hard. And as you see, um, there's that, that Jackson Township. The United States Department of Labor filed the civil complaint against comprehensive health care and Harper in November 2018. They did it in 2018. It's been going on since 2014, but the people have been complaining since 2014. Then it took them to 2018 for the department of labor to step in and see what's going on you know and now the judge has rewarded in 2024 that 35 million to uh all of the workers okay the um licensed practical nurses certified nurses regular nurses assistant nurses ther therapists aides um Emissions, coordinators, clerks, damn cooks, social services, coordinators, housekeepers, maintenance technicians, administrative staff. So all of them was basically being cheated out of their hours, out of their overtime hours, out of their money, and things like that. And then we hear the same thing that's going on with the firefighters. They say they missed some pensions. Insurance has lapsed. Um, you know, things like that. The feds are on it. 
they 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 not they they not playing. They are not playing. Okay, so I just wanted to show y'all that right there. That yes, these people was awarded a big healthy uh, thirty five mil for you know they overtime and things like that. They wasn't half being paid. They was working through their lunch breaks and wasn't getting paid at all and things like that. Okay, they supposed to had bonuses. They wasn't getting that. They wasn't getting none of their bonuses or none of that. Sound like them firefighters that's over there in Dalton. Okay? And they are steady working. They said they still working. Remember the firefighters said they are still working. And they still don't have, like, their money they supposed to have. Now, as you look at here, you'll see Dalton Township. Dalton residents called for Pritzker intervention now they did they had a little um you know meeting and they had a press meeting and they called on the governor they called on the attorney general they called on the district attorney okay to step in and intervene about the criminal behavior of tiffany henyard and her goons okay so they did do that this week, and they was begging for help, and the press people was out there and everything. Yeah, the press was out there, so they did. They was out there. It wasn't. It wasn't a large crowd. It wasn't a very large crowd like we were hope it had a been. But the thing is, the ones who showed up, it was early in the morning, they said, the ones who showed up did get their voice heard because that governor did hear what they had to say because some news people contacted him and told him about it, okay? So they know that this happened, okay? So the government, well, the governor, sorry, he responded to the residents, and the residents were saying, look, we need for them to uh, intervene. We need for Governor Priska and the Attorney General Kwame uh, and the District Attorney Kim Fox, which she said that she ain't running no more or whatever, but they called for all of them to step in and intervene about this hand. You know, and about their civil rights being violated and about the hardship and intimidation that the residents has been enduring for years from this hand. OK, now the news did contact the governor and asked him, did he want to make a comment about the residents rally? And um, his statement was, I can send more law enforcement to Thornton and Dalton, but I respect the two ongoing investigations, meaning Miss Lightfoot investigation and the FBI investigation. What? They didn't ask you to send no more law enforcement. They said they wanted you to intervene, meaning that they are asking for you to at least sit this hen down or make this hen step down until the investigation is over with and until Miss Lightfoot investigation is over with. You see what I'm saying? That's one of his mayors. Tiffany is one of his mayors. He should be able to at least say that's not that's not interfering with the investigation by saying, hey, I'm going to need you to sit down. And uh, they say they got a pro tem. Jason, you're going to have to be the pro tem. OK, but we are gonna need for you to sit down or step aside until this investigation is over with, because uh, this is worldwide and it looks very, very bad on me and you. So step aside. That's all they saying. Ain't nobody said, oh, step on the FBI toes or step on Miss Lightfoot toes. No, just make her sit down. 
You got the authority. The governor got the authority to do that. That's one of his governor, uh, mayors. You know? Tell him to sit down until the investigation is over with. Yeah. Because he clearly see 20,000 residents suffering in hardship and pain and intimidation. And then you say, I send more law enforcement? Uh, let me, this is, this is what, um, this is what he said. This is what the news people said he said. More law enforcement, but he supports those two investigations that are still ongoing. Pritzker has said he's considered sending in more law enforcement, but he supports those two investigations that are still ongoing. Okay. So see. He said he'll send more law enforcement. Is he talking about the same thing we talking about? I'm just trying to figure out. Because this seems like his response wasn't what these residents were basically talking about. You know? I don't know. I don't know. But it just didn't go. It just, it just didn't go right. I don't know. But anyway, at least the residents did. Um, that was Mr. Paul. He was talking to, you know. Um, so they did. People was listening to them. And the word did get to the governor because you heard his response. So that was the main thing, you know. So at least the residents did make a request to the governor and the attorney general and the district attorney with the press conference and they was heard loud and clear and it made a big difference but we do know that the governor did know that they was out there and that was the main thing that was the main thing you know and word on the streets that most residents don't show up anyway because they fearful of tiffany and her goons they fearful of the retaliation, you know, because that's what they do. That's what they do. Mm-hmm. And then they saying word on the streets that a lot of these people uh, want them free gifts. So they don't want to be seen on camera. They don't want to be seen at these rallies, even though they don't agree with Tiffany, but they fake breaking it for these gifts that she's giving out. But I can tell you right now, y'all better think twice about those gifts. Mm-hmm, my opinion. That's my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, better think twice about running to those gifts because you ain't receiving gifts from just a regular person who is not under investigation and all that. You know? But they are saying, word on the streets, is that a lot of these people, you know, people talk about, we, we were saying how full that bingo spot is. And it's for that free stuff. It's for the free stuff. But a lot of people is getting the free stuff, acting like they on Tiffany's side. But when it comes time to get ready to go in there and hit that button for a mayor, most likely, they're not going to hit Tiffany. Uh-huh. See, that's how some people do do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, they agree. They taking the gifts. Oh, they popping up. So, word on the streets is most of them is using Tiffany like she thinks she using them. A lot of them are using Tiffany for the gifts. But, when they go behind that thing and nobody could see who they hit for, word on the street is that they not going to hit for Tiffany. Mm -mm. So see why she thinks she's being slick. And, you know, it's full on her side. Yeah, it's full because she's giving away free stuff. But the thing is, how many of them is going to hit for Jason? And how many going to hit for her? Uh-huh, deep down. Mm-hmm. Because word on the street is they playing her just as hard as she playing them. 
Yep, that's the word on the street. Now I'm just telling y'all what, what the word on the curb is. Okay. Now, um, <laughs> I'm telling you, you have to be very careful with that, cause actually, you know, uh, Tiffany, she doing, she 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 playing with the residents by throwing out gifts and oh, she buying her way through, but the whole time it's a lot of them that's playing her too. They just taking what they can get free and then go and then hit up against her. Yeah. Which I don't agree with none of that at all. Stand up and stand strong because that doesn't give a good example to our kids because our kids see us falling for anything because of gifts, food, turkey, chicken, all that stuff. It doesn't show a good example to our kids. You have to stand up for what's right. You know, you just throw your integrity and dignity away for food and gifts. Knowing that this person is not right. But you knowing that they're not right, but you're not going to say nothing because you just want the gifts. But when I go to make the decision, I'm going to make the right decision. I just want to get the gifts. What? And our children see that and they follow the same pattern. Which it shouldn't be like that. You have to be strong and say, nah, I don't want them gifts. Because first of all, I don't know how you got the gifts. And you under investigation for money not accounted for. And you got subpoenas on your head. Uh, I bet not. That just like for people who, you know, lived in some of the urban areas and things like that. You have some people that walk down the street or riding on a bicycle or something. Have a bag full of all kind of stuff. They have deodorant in there, they have washing powders in there, they got perfume in there, they got undies in there, oh, now you know they done took it from the store, you know they done stole it from the store, and they come through with bicycle, and they have a big old bag hanging off their bicycle, say, hey, I got some of this, you want this, you want that, you want this, I got this, you can get it for about five dollars, I tell you what, you can get about three of them, just pick any three you want, Brand new in the pack. Just give me $5 for it. You know they stole it. And then you get it. You just received stolen goods. And the same way go for those bingo prizes. Are they legit? Or are they coming from the taxpayers without approval no receipts to show where it came from who bank account it came from none of that but then you take it and you don't know the TV that you have or the exercise bike that you have, or the golf club that you have, was it legit? Will you get a knock a year from now, five months from now? You just don't know. I wouldn't. I, I couldn't do it. Mm mm. Mm mm. So you just never know. You just never know. Where the receipt said. Uh-huh. We've been asking for receipts for a long time. Where are they? Yeah. We have to stop letting gifts and food by our integrity and dignity. It's not a good example for our children of the future. It's just not. It's just not. And I do understand that a lot of residents are scared to come out because it's a lot of stink stink wrapped around Tiffany and her goons. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, where, where the, oh, and for the trustees, I've had a lot of people ask me, um, uh, in the emails, what do I think about the trustees of, um, of 2025 and Jason running for mayor. Me, my opinion, I think it's okay. You know, I think that they will do a good job. And I think they will push hard to make things better in Dalton Village. I really do, my opinion. I think they will spend the taxpayers' dollars wisely, responsibly, and do what's right by the taxpayers. Now, let me tell you why. Because they all know on their screen, they all know firsthand how it feel to have them alphabet boys swarming around your joint. Yeah, see, they done got a taste of the alphabet boys. And they know what the alphabet boys expect. Yeah. They know what they expect and they know what they ain't playing. So, see, they have been, um, throughout this here process with the hen, they have got first-hand feel of what it feels like to be on the other side of the FBI. And I think that they will do what's right. Because this ain't a year ago, you know, two years. The FBI just came in this year. They know firsthand what heat feel like. Because, and the hen definitely know firsthand what heat feel like. Okay? So that'll make a lot of people... Um, who was already wanting to do right, do right. So I think they will do a good job. I really do. That's my opinion. They know how it feel for their village to be damn near bankrupt. They know how it feel about their village being swarmed with subpoenas. They know how it feel about being questioned about documents. They know how it feel about people just, you know, you have to come here and do this statement. You got to come here and do this, and you got to come here, and hey, we need this, and do you know about this? That They know firsthand now. So I think they will do a good job. Yeah. So that's my take on them. Now, you will see here that people have been saying, we've been requesting, this is the trustees and everybody, we've been requesting documents for years. So there's a lot of things that probably, this is them talking here recently now, okay? Um, so there's a lot of things that probably don't even have a clue what we're walking into. But we're just going to have to be able to work together and work with the department heads to make sure that we analyze, audit, and dissect everything Belcher said. So like she said, right now they have no idea what they're walking into, okay? Because they can't get no documents. They can't get no receipts. They can't get nothing. They don't even know what they're walking into, you know? Um... She says she understands that success is a group, is not a given, and they plan to work hard to spread their message, especially given hens consistent hen yards, consistent flow of free events held throughout the community that have made her a familiar figure. Yeah, she's giving away a lot of stuff. Yeah, I better watch that giveaway. Uh-huh. Uh, still, Belcher says she believes that the ur urgent message of government transparency will come through to the to the voters. Okay, so um, you know, 
like she said, Tiffany is out there giving away free things, but in it for, you know, but in it for a positive change. They in it for positive change and for growth. But Tiffany out here giving away free stuff, okay? As you see, she said Tiffany is uh, giving away TV or free washing machine and all that. And they saying they're not going to give away all that stuff. And you know why? Because they really not supposed to be doing that. Not just to try to get votes and things like that, trying to con the residents and things like that. You're not supposed to be doing all that for that. Is anybody else mayor giving them washing machines and TVs? Let me know. Put it in the comment section. Is y'all mayor giving y'all community TVs, washing machines, golf clubs, and all that exercise bikes and exercise machines and exercise chairs and all that? Is y'all governor giving y'all that every week or once a month and all that stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mine's too busy. Uh, Well, you know, I have a residency in three spots, but those three uh, mayors and governors that in my areas, they, they think strictly about the community. Yeah. Nice paved roads, everything looking nice, new businesses always appearing, you know, all that good stuff that a city supposed to have. All our water mains are working. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gonna have no bag ups. Even when it's storming, raining, and we here on the Gulf Coast where it's hurricanes and our drains go shoot, work perfectly fine. But Tiffany? Mm. Anyway, so you see, I think we will be able to accomplish together. Yeah. Yeah. And not be an embarrassment to the world. So that's what Steve said. So they are try they are trying and I think they will be okay. Um, you know, they said that Hen Yard has repeatedly prevent them from putting items on the village agenda for meetings and refusing to turn over important financial information. Once again, that's that family thing. Okay? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, um, once again, that's that family thing. Now, my thing is all these gifts. All these gifts. My thing is, first of all, is 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 some of these I where's the receipts for these items, first of all? And then another thing is all these returned items. You know how you return items at the store and all that stuff and get them for cheap and all that. Is those returned items? I wouldn't even doubt it. I wouldn't even doubt if they return items. Now, let's uh talk about Tiffany and Keith right quick before I uh close out of here. But Tiffany Keith they keep saying, Tiffany administration over there at Thornton keeps saying that Keith is uh, terminated, okay? Now, Keith, Keith was saying in an article that he didn't know nothing about uh, he was terminated, okay? Yeah. So, you will see here that it says um, Thornton Township records indicate administrator Keith Freeman was notified of his dismissal July 9th, due to poor attendance, okay? He said he don't know nothing about none of that. Okay, that's what he said. Now, he said he don't know nothing about that. So, who lied, okay? Who lied? Who y'all think lied, okay? Because I do know that um, Tiffany don't like to inform people until later, okay? We learned that with the girl that went to... Uh, Vegas with them, Miss Fina, and you know, she went on her leave of absence, she was gone. Then we just read earlier about another lady who was in charge of FOIA, went on a leave of absence for some strange reason, and then Tiffany Cousins and them come in. 
Okay? So, I really can't say that Keith really knew. Because Tiffany is known for um, people being out. And she don't say nothing. Just like, oh, later on, oh, you terminated. Now, Keith probably did find out that day. He probably found out when the news found out. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Because that's Tiffany's track record. Okay? So, Keith Freeman, the top aide of Thornton Township Supervisor and Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Wait a minute. Keith Freeman, the top aide to Thornton Township Supervisor and Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard was fired from the township earlier this month. Records obtained from the township show he is still on the payroll as administrator for the village of Dalton. Thornton Township records indicate Freeman was notified of his immediate dismissal July 9th. That's what she said, July 9th, okay? Due to poor attendance. He was reportedly warned about his failure to consistently show up to work without notifying his supervisor, which is the hen, okay? Due to the high-ranking position that you hold within the township, this type of misconduct cannot be tolerated. The Human Resource Department wrote in its email notifying Freeman he had been fired. Your conduct is a determinant to the smooth functioning of the township operation. What smooth? What what where they running something smooth at? The smooth functioning. Where it been smooth at? What I'm trying to figure out. Family, where it been smooth at? All we've been seeing is a bunch of chaos. Subpoenas, investigations. No receipts being handed out, no transparency, bullying, intimidation, harassing. Where is the smooth functioning at? See, this show, I told y'all them hell miss on tight over there. This is a confused hen. Where is it smooth at? She actually think all of this that is going on is smooth functioning of the township. You got her damn near acting a fool on Carmen and Gonzalez because they said no because they don't have enough proof for everything and she won't give up the proof on paying some of these people. And she called all this smooth functioning. What? Anyway, I'm trying to figure out where it's smooth at. Then she said, Freeman was issued a written warning June 13th for repeated absence requesting better communication of your whereabouts and more time spent at the township according to township. Okay, so family, she gonna tell Keith Freeman or whoever that Keith was warned on June 13th for repeated absence, okay? And that he needs to have better communication of your whereabouts and more time spent at the township. So did anybody read between that line? What it is it saying, family? In my opinion, is that I need to know your whereabouts every moment of the day. Because I feel like you is taking some of this time to go see the FBI and talk. So, see, when I can't pinpoint where you at, I get nervous. And I think that you're ratting on me. So, you won't tell me what you're doing and I can't find you and I don't know what you're doing and you won't answer the phone or come over to your house or my goons come to your house and you ain't there and where you staying you and your family ain't even been at the house i'm just saying allegedly i'm, I'm just saying i'm just giving an example of what this here saying about 
request better communications of your whereabouts. What the hell you mean by my whereabouts? I am an employee. You are my supervisor. You ain't supposed to know my whereabouts when I'm not there. When I'm at work, I clock in. That's my whereabouts with you. But after I clock out, you have no business wanting to know where my whereabouts is. No, you don't. What you want to know my whereabouts for? You nervous? You scared? That's what it is. You want to know Keith's whereabouts to see if he is talking to the FBI. You want to know his every move. You ain't his wife. Or did y'all have? I don't know. Now, let me, let me shut up. Because you sure is acting like you acting like Keith Kamal. That ain't none of your business where his whereabouts at. And Kamal sitting back ain't said nothing. Kamal can't see through nothing. But he supposed to be so street smart. Yeah. I seen straight through this. Why you want to know Keith whereabouts? That's not your business. Once he asks for... Uh, leave of absence. You either give it to him or you don't. And if you don't give it to him and he's absent, yeah, okay. If you say, I'm terminating you because of bad, you know, attendance. Point blank period. But not because, and I don't know where your whereabouts is. Nigga, you ain't supposed to know where my where. Well, who you think you is, you old mud wildin' hen? Where's your whereabouts? Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about by Tiffany trying to... That's that gangster talk. That's that gangster talk. Yeah. You remember how Nino Brown wanted to know everywhere his right-hand man went. And when he come up missing, Nino Brown was suspect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That he cutting the side deal somewhere or something. That's all that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about some whereabouts. Ain't none of your business where he at. Now, it said, Freeman was issued a written warning in June 13th for repeated. Okay, we already did that. Okay, now she said she wanted to know where his whereabouts and more time spent with the township, according to township records. The township also provided his time card that showed 46 hours worked in and in the entire month of June, including several weeks of him working almost no hours. Okay, and? Okay, and? He tired of being around y'all goddamn ass. That's all it is. Okay? He tired of being around the hen. The hen done got him in too much trouble. He tired of being around you. So, and? And? And, okay, so you you let him go. Okay, so you let him go. Because of his absence. And he only worked 46 hours in an entire month. Hey, you said that one of your security worked 300 hours in two weeks, which we know is an impossible. And you paid them $10,000 paycheck. Okay, so that was a lie. That was a lie that he worked 300 hours in two weeks. Why you ain't fired that man? Why you ain't fired your security dude that said he worked 300 hours in two weeks? He lied. So why you ain't fired him? Okay. But then the one who worked 46 hours in a month, who's basically telling the truth. Okay, yeah, I ain't worked for 46 hours in a month. Your right-hand man, your ace boom coon, now all of a sudden, you want to fight Keith. Yeah, you think Keith talking. That's all that is. That's all that is. Mm-hmm.
And it says an email record show Freeman request a leave of absence on June 21st. Okay. So, if he requested a leave of absence on June 21st to provide care for an ill family member, why the hell did you fire him? Because according to this, he should be on FMLA. So, medical leave. So, once again, Tiffany terminates people when they're on medical leave. It clearly says right there, in the email shows Freeman request a leave of absence on June 21st to provide care for an ill family member. And, okay, so he requests for a leave of absence, so was she fired him while he was on leave of absence? Yeah, that's typical, because that's what she has done. She did it to a family, Afina, who went to Vegas, remember? She told that young lady to go on a leave of absence. That young lady went on leave of absence, and then they fired her. Then we just seen in here that uh, a lady that was over the FOIA went on a leave of absence, but then all of a sudden Tiffany Cousin and family take over. Then you got right here, Keith asked for a leave of absence, and then she tell the news he fired. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it says that he asked for that for an ill family member, but did not submit paperwork by the July 6th deadline provided by the Township Human Resources Manager. Now, what they most likely did here, family, is Tiffany done sent, told Keith, you got to give us the name of the family member, what's the family member condition, um... What, what type of illness the family member got and all that for Keith to be out. Because she don't think it's a family member. She think Keith just doing that to kind of bag away from her. So now they're going to require, most likely, that's what this right here is giving, that he said he wanted to attend to a family member, but then they asked him to submit paperwork by July 6th deadline. Provided by the township human resource. Who is the human resources township person anyway? Is it Keith Price? Is it your cousin? Is it your sister-in-law? Who is it that's writing these things to Keith? Uh-huh. Then it says, Freeman firing comes as Henyard herself is under federal scrutiny. There it is with investigators questioning people both inside and out of the village. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. It's no way I could be taking no gifts from nobody like this right here. It clearly says it. Multiple lawsuits has been filed against Freeman as well as Henyard, including the unlawful retaliation against employees who claim they were terminated from Dalton and Thornton Township for not supporting Henyard. Yeah, uh-huh. Wow. Wow. Henyard office did not reply, you know, after that. Uh, the Thornton Township Board, which is supposed to approve dismissals of township officials like Freeman, has not been officially notified of Freeman's termination, according to Trustee Chris Gonzalez. See, that's what I'm talking about right now. See how Tiffany and whoever this human resources person, the human resources is breaking laws, okay? It, it, it's just totally, totally... I'm telling you, the feds need to hurry up and snatch these folks, okay? Because first of all, Keith Pre Freeman is supposed to be voted out. His dismissal is supposed to come before the board at Thornton, and it didn't. According to Chris Gonzalez, he said that it's supposed to be his dismissal is supposed to be approved 
by the trustees. Uh-huh. And Gonzalez said, it is also unclear who has taken on Freeman's role. Though Keith Price who managed the village food pantry, appears to be completing some administrative duties. There it go. There it go. So is Keith the one, is Keith Price the one sending these letters to Keith Freeman? Mm -hmm. And why is Keith Price doing administrative duties when that's supposed to come before the board as well? So, Keith Freeman is supposed to go through the board, the trustees, on his dismissal, which hasn't happened. But they say he fired anyway, without even going through the board. You see how she just dismissed people like that? And then, for Keith Price to be acting like he doing some administrative duties, that's supposed to be approved as well. But Tiffany ain't approved nothing. She just sliding Keith Price right on through. What? A promotion, if that's what it would be. And I haven't seen anything, Gonzalez said. That should also come through the board, meaning Keith Price, if He's moved his way to the administrative board and out of the food pantry. That means he's getting a boost up. So that got to come through the trustee board. He just She just can't do it. But, of course, Tiffany thinks she can do what she want to do. And she's doing it. Okay? Now, Clerk Key says that Keith Freeman still worked as administrator under Henyard in Dalton. Okay. However, Dalton trustee Jason House said he believes Freeman and Henyard are no longer on good terms, which may have contributed to Freeman's dismissal in Thornton Township. Okay. And may and it may jeopardize his job at Dalton as well. I tell you right now, just my opinion, I would not even uh at Dalton, I wouldn't even uh, vote for Keith to be dismissed. You keep your enemies close. If I was them, I'd vote no. Because she most likely going to try to get Dalton trustees to vote Keith out of that seat. Because she, she don't want to be bothered with it. I'd make her have to deal with him. I'd be like, nah. I ain't going to, uh, no, nah, we're going to keep him here because he might start telling us something that we need. Matter of fact, Keith, get your chair out from up there by her and come down here and put your chair with us down here by the trustees. Uh-huh. You can sit wherever you want to sit. You still be part of that administration, but you just ain't fooling with her. But you could, maybe you could tell us a whole lot of things we need to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe you can help us out. And maybe you can get you a good deal with them alphabet boys. Yeah. Because she, she, yeah, we going to vote Keith out. I'll be like, no, nope. we ain't voting them out. Nope. Mm-mm. Yeah, we need him a little bit close. Because, see, we vote him out. We might not see him again until it Fred's grab everybody, okay? We need some heavy information. Maybe he got extra copies at the house of the receipts we need. We don't know. But it's worth a try. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, as you see, it says, um, there's clearly a split between he and mayor and the mayor's office, House said. Ironically, in the past few weeks, we start to be much more following the ordinance the way they were attending. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, Freeman has been with the administrator since January 2022. Yeah. I wouldn't vote him out. That's just me. My opinion. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just petty like that. You know what I'm saying? I am. I'd be like, nope. Nope. Because... 
I feel like this. About a month ago, Tiffany and Keith did a deposition. And they did that deposition with Bert and Otterson Law Firm. And that was about them not handing over FOIA requests. And Olderson had put down a lawsuit because they wasn't being transparent and wasn't following the law the way they should follow. And then they had some more things inside of it, too. But I know during that deposition, Tiffany was throwing everything on her administration, trying to keep her hands clean of any wrongdoing. And, you know, she kept throwing everything on her administration, who is basically Keith. Okay? The right-hand man. So, in my opinion, Keith realized that. And he realized that Tiffany would throw his ass in that deep mud and quicksand just to save her own ass and don't have no sympathy about doing it. No, she ain't got no sympathy for him. You know, her heart is ice cold. In my opinion, things got rocky when Tiffany and Keith did that deposition for that Burt and Otterson thing. Mm -hmm. Because that deposition was public records. And Keith got to see what Tiffany said. And Tiffany got to see what Keith said. And it wasn't pretty. Tiffany was saying, I don't deal with this. I don't deal with that. My administration handled that. Every time... They asked her in that deposition about something. She always washed her hand quick of it by saying, I don't deal with that. My administration deal with that. Yes, they asked about receipts. I don't deal with that. My administration deal with that. They asked about documents. I don't deal with that. My administration deal with that. She was throwing everything on Keith. And then I remember in one of Keith's statements in the deposition that he said that Tiffany's administration is not organized at all. Complete chaos, basically. Okay? But I do notice that Tiffany kept saying, I don't deal in day-to-day -day operations. What? You the mayor. What you mean you don't deal in day-to-day -day operations? She kept saying, I don't deal with day-to-day -day operation. My administration handled that. Throwing it back on Keith. She was throwing everything on Keith and her administration. She took no accountability of nothing. And when they asked her something again, she said, I thought I just said that. I told you once. I don't handle that. My administration do. So everything, she's wiping it. So you can already know that when all the mess go down and they all have to get pulled in there to that Fed's courtroom, you automatically know what Tiffany going to say because she said it in a deposition just with Bert and Otterson. Just, a, just a, a deposition that was about that. That wasn't even as hard as the Fed's investigation. So, if she was throwing Keith and her administration up under the bus, then imagine what she's going to do when it comes time to sit in that federal courtroom. She going she to get them. Everything is going to, because she's already said a lot of times, my name ain't on no credit cards. I don't, I've never used no credit cards. I've never did this. That's my administration. She, she already, I'm telling you, she got it down pat. She got it down pat. Her hands is basically clean according to her. But we know better. So that's why I said why people were saying, oh, Keith the brains. If Keith was the brains, he wouldn't have never let himself be where he is spending credit cards or using credit cards or this and that, this and that. Nah, Tiffany is the one that made sure she did not put her hands on none of that stuff so she can automatically say, oh, I ain't do that. It's just like her cancer foundation. Oh, I ain't, I ain't open that. Somebody else opened that up in my name. It was Keith and Kamal. She threw their ass clean up under the bus. The one that she is living with or so-called living with or so-called going with or whatever one it is, Threw him right up under the bus, too. 
she clearly said on the Martin Rowland, somebody else put that in my name. I ain't know nothing about it. And then it come to find out, we know that Keith and Kamal had their name on it. So she threw their ass up under the bus again. Somebody else put that up under my name. I don't know nothing about it. They just be using my name. They just use my name because I'm the face. Because I'm the face. So they just be using my name. But I don't know nothing about it. Threw Kamal and Keith. Slap up under the bus. And Kamal still walking side by side with her. I'm telling you. The hell miss her own type. So. Um. My thing is, Tiffany was throwing her administration up under the bus. And, you know, anything that was questionable, she threw their ass up under the bus. Anything that she felt like might look like is wrong, she threw them up under the bus. Anything that she felt like was definitely wrong doing, she threw them up under the bus. She was saying, oh, no, nah, that ain't me. That's my administration. I don't deal with that. My administration deal with that. I don't deal with day-to-day -day, uh, operations. And Keith is most likely now singing like a hummingbird on that hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keith knows a lot because he was her ace boon coon. And the heat is getting unbearable for Tiffany and her goon. And the goon squad is falling apart slowly but surely. That train is halfway off that track. They dropping out like flies. Yes, they are. And some of them are getting some act right. Mm-hmm. Some of them having a change of heart, trying to get some act right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just to get that heat up off their butt. And they may... Get a good deal for the big fishy hand. Yeah, they might get a good deal. Mm hmm Tiffany and her remaining goon squad should be very nervous when it comes to Keith. Yeah, they should be. Why she trying to be smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, you know, it says a lot when Keith played in her face. By saying, I didn't know I was fired. See, that said a lot right there. He called her a liar. Called her and her administration a liar for the world to hear. He said, I didn't know I was fired. I don't know nothing about me being fired. So that said a lot right there because he basically just called her a liar. Uh-huh. So she should be very nervous because Keith claimed right out and said it for the world to hear. I ain't, She said, oh, he's fired. He's terminated. He said, I didn't know I was fired. Basically, this bitch ain't lying. Uh-huh. I wasn't never notified until y'all just told me. And for some reason, I believe Keith because she did it to everybody else. And that alone said a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tiffany and her goons need to be very nervous of Keith. Because, see, Keith holds the master key just like Tiffany. Yeah. See, Tiffany thinks she holds the master key, and she does. But Keith also does. He holds the master key. Yeah. She is most likely going to try to vote Keith out at that Dal Dalton Village meeting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I would keep my opponent close. Because the opponent might gift them with some outstanding information that they truly, truly need. Mm-hmm. 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 I put Keith Chair right there on the side of the trustees. Yeah. And let that hand sweat. Let us sweat. But I can tell you right now, Tiffany always failed the stupid test. Yeah, she done failed it. She done failed it. Because I'm going to tell you right now, Keith didn't make that statement for nothing. 
when he said, I didn't know I was five. Calling her a liar out in public like that? Yeah, she fell for the stupid test. Yes, she did. That's all I got to say about that. Um, they're supposed to have some type of meeting coming up pretty soon. We'll keep a lookout on that. As always, gain knowledge to prevent blockage. And we all know what that means. The more you know, the harder it is for anybody to block y'all from your goals and success. Bye-bye.